Hello everyone on YouTube. I hope someone watches this video. This is my first ever common sense video I'm trying to do. Hopefully someone watches it. Because I want people to debate whether they hate my messages or like it. But here's where I'm getting into my video now. Everyone wants to say, well, Ulysses S. Grant is a hero of the Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant is not racist. Ulysses S. Grant was a great, um, a great president after Lincoln. And let's go with Robert E. Lee. Oh, he's a pitiful man because he's a Confederate general that supports slavery, had slaves. Yeah, yeah, all this other BS I heard. Oh, let's look at Gen General Sherman. Everyone wants to say he's a great man because he's a hero of the Civil War that helped free slaves. Well, here's where my common sense feel comes into play and kicks. One, Ulysses S. Grant was known as the last United States president to own slaves. General Sherman said, I don't care if people have slaves as long as the United States is one. Now, I know these are touchy subjects on history, but if you learn from them and you see them, we shouldn't stop teaching history class in school just because, oh, it's white supremacy, it's only about whites. All right, these people that want to get in office, they need to put down their crack pipes Stop doing heroin, st stop OD, I'm at doing marijuana, and look at history more clearly. Because I simply remember Pocahontas, that's history. She's not white, she's Native American. I noticed Martin Luther King made history, Rosa Parks made history, Harriet Tubman. These people made history. These people did what they did knew was right in their ways. Now, let's go back with the whole Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant. Did you know Robert E. Lee was a colonel in the Union Army? Abraham Lincoln handpicked him to become the next general of the Union Army. He didn't pick Grant. He didn't pick all the other ones that failed him. He picked Robert E. Lee. Do you know why? Because that man was had the respect of his men, his people. He was a well-loved man. Now, you got people today saying, well, he owns slaves. He's a bad man. He joined the Confederacy to keep slavery going. Like I said, to the people hitting the crack pipe and marijuana, whatever drugs you're on. Take your mouth off the things and look at the history. Dig deeper like I'm doing. Robert E. Lee never had slaves. His wife's family did. And he married into the family. But when he went off the war, he gave the keys to the slaves and told them they're free. Have his property. The reason why he became a Confederate general is not because he supported slavery. He joined the Confederacy because Virginia broke off from the United States of America. Now, this is where common sense needs to come in. And to say history was made only by whites only, I don't know if. I, I remember last time checking on the internet. Or no, when I first heard Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech, I had a dream. I know he was black, and so was Rosa Parks. So how is history only white privilege only? It showed a black man wanting to reunite the world in one glorious dream. It showed people... It showed no matter what race you are, we're human. You prick our fingers, we bleed red. We get sick, 
our first instinct is to help someone. If someone gets hit by a car, by a drunk driver, our first instincts is to make sure both people are okay and the drunk driver gets what he deserves, be in jail, and also to make him realize what he did was not jeopardize everyone's lives. And I'm throwing a lot of common sense out there, but will my message be heard or will they say, well, because of him protecting Lee, he must be a white racist. I'm Native American, thank you very much. I got two different tribes in my background. I'm a descendant of Pocahontas on my grandmother's side, on my dad's side of the family. And I got two chiefs of the Chippewa tribe that I'm descended from, from my granddad's side of the family. One was during the late 1800s to early 1800s, and the other one was during the 80s. And you know what? I take pride knowing I come from some of the greatest Native Americans in my tribe. Even though they may not be history big, they're still big in my heart. But I'm saying, everyone wants to say, well, Trump's a bad man. Trump's a bad man for doing this. Trump's a bad man for doing that. Well, what about Obama? He's done... This one guy did a video of him saying, well, Trump said this. What do you think about it? And people said, well, you proved my point. It's white supremacy. And it's like, well, and when he proved, showed them the proof that was really Obama saying it, he says, is it white supremacy now, knowing that Barack Obama is the one who actually said it? These people were trying to justify what Barack Obama's saying, but hell no if it came from Trump. It's like, how can one man say, oh yeah, if your children come to the border, they, you better not send them because they'll never make it. It's like, okay, that's okay when Barack Obama says it, but when Trump says it, it must be racist. Alright, and this one woman i seen actually had common sense. She said, no matter who said it, she's black, she's... She's doing the whole common sense. She says, no matter who says it, it sounds like a threat on these poor kids' lives that want their life with their parents here in the States. People that disrespect my history, my ancestry line, and also disrespecting your own history line, I mean, have y'all been brainwashed by Osama bin Laden or... What's that other one? Or, um, all these terrorists that have been trying to destroy the United States for years. Have you been brainwashed by them in a secret laboratory I don't know about? Adam Hussein, Osama bin Laden. They were known to try to destroy the United States when 9 11 happened. We didn't see. We didn't see race that attacked us. We seen terrorism attack us. And you know what we did? We went to war. We kicked their ass. These poor people that suffer from 9-11, we have Omar saying, well, pushing out her chest saying what they did was justified. You know, she needs to be interrogated because I'm thinking maybe she works with ISIS. Who knows? I could be wrong. But why would she say, hey, the black hop, the black I hawked down where a lot of these Marines lost their life. How come they're bad men, but the people that were killing them were good people? It makes no damn sense to me. Sorry for my language, but I'm getting to the point in my common sense where I'm getting frustrated because you got these Democrats playing this BLM movement saying, well, we respect black lives. We'll kneel down to them. Just to play off for fools so they can get that vote to get back in. 
And if Trump wins, I'm pretty sure it'll be like, hey, hey, terrorist has won. They took back over the White House. We'll have Omar saying, well, we need to get rid of him, the coronavirus. You know, I've been in this neighborhood. I've been walking in front of this library. I see some people with masks, some people without masks. And a majority I see are without masks because no one here has caught the coronavirus that I know of. Heck, there could be someone, but I don't know. But I noticed when, before this whole BLM movement became a little fuss, making people, trying to get under people's skin, while they burned down their flags and every other flag. It's not illegal to burn the country's flag, but if you burn that gay matters flag, that gay's flag, you're going to jail or prison because, oh, that's wrong. Well, I think if you burn the country's flag, you should be in prison because it's like, whatever. I seen an NFL superstar did a video about he normally works out, do a daily routine, and he stopped because he seen them burn a Bible and a cross. He's a former NFL black superstar. And that's why I'm wanting to know. They said every black person's depressed. Everyone's suffering. I see superstars, athletes, TV stars, movie stars, all this doing. All these actors and actresses that are black. All these talk shows that are black, like Oprah. They made it big because they showed how they are, but then... White privilege, white privilege, it's like Lil Wayne said he don't represent the BLM because he's a successful black man. If that shows black lives don't matter, he don't know what does. All right, I'm going to end my video here. I hope I get some opinions to talk, and I'll do another one.